Francesca Mann, a talented ballerina, became famous for her outstanding deeds that surpassed her dancing achievements. Despite her youth, Francesca possessed a determination and resourcefulness that manifested itself in one of the darkest periods of history. Since childhood, Francesca has been devoted to ballet. She spent hours and hours at ballet school, striving to become a great polished ballerina. Being in love and dreaming of her own ballet school, her hopes were destroyed when the Nazis occupied Warsaw. Despite the difficulties that had arisen, Francesca was not going to give up her passion for ballet. She was ready to dance in a cabaret in order to stay on stage and hoped that over time her fate would change and she would be able to dance on the big stage again. Before you continue watching, please subscribe to my channel and like it. Of course, this is optional. The main thing is to be sincere. It is important to understand that by this time Germany had gone through a series of significant political and social changes that significantly affected the life of the Jewish population. In 1933, the National Socialist Party, led by Adolf Hitler, came to power in Germany. The ideology of the Nazis included racist and anti-Semitic principles, which led to the systematic persecution of Jews and the restriction of their rights. With the advent of the Nazi regime, Jews in Germany began to face discrimination, persecution, and restrictions. The introduction of anti-Semitic laws deprived Jews of civil rights, prohibited them from participating in many spheres of public life, and deprived them of property. Also during the Second World War, the Nazis organized a system of concentration extermination camps where millions of people, including Jews, became victims of genocide. Jews were forced to live in ghettos, had limited mobility, and were isolated from the rest of society. Jewish property was confiscated, and Jews faced violence and persecution. In 1942, the Nazis staged a brutal provocation to pull Jews out of their hiding places. A rumor was spread that Jews who have a passport of a neutral state will be allowed to leave the ghetto. Of course, many Jews did not have such passports. Then allegedly, secret information spread that a passport could be purchased for a huge amount of money. This money was available only to those Jews who escaped the ghetto and remained in the territory under Nazi control. It was a clever trap to force them out of hiding and then arrest them. Francesca Mann actively participated in the dissemination of this information, believing that buying passports would help her friends. She hoped that they would be able to avoid a terrible fate, but unfortunately, only a few hundred people managed to escape. The rest were facing imminent death in a concentration camp. Thousands of people, including Francesca, were loaded onto a train bound for Auschwitz, one of the most terrifying concentration camps. People believed that they were going to the border with Switzerland, where freedom awaits them, so they obeyed the instructions of the Nazis without resistance and hoped for the best. However, upon arrival at the place, a cruel deception awaited them. People were informed about the need to undergo disinfection, otherwise Switzerland will not accept them. Unsuspecting people lined up to the changing rooms waiting for showers, but it soon became clear to them that they had fallen into a trap. There were armed Nazis around them and the terrible smell and atmosphere of the camp showed that death was not far away. When the women realized that after undressing they would die in the gas chambers, panic began in the locker room. Francesca, with unusual humility and determination, decided not to give up without a fight. Smiling and looking at the armed guards, she began to slowly take off her clothes, making spectacular movements and drawing attention to herself. The girl was not going to accept her fate. A desperate idea was born in her heart. Maybe it would be possible to make an escape. The guards were amazed and couldn't take their eyes off her elegant movements. They seemed to be under hypnosis, watching every piece of Francesca's clothing fall to the floor. It was an unprecedented show performance that made them forget about their duties. Left only in her high heels, Francesca twisted and suddenly threw one of the shoes with force in the face of the nearest guard. While he was stunned, 
The brave girl snatched a pistol from his holster and fired two shots, wounding Joseph Schillinger, the most sophisticated saddest of Auschwitz. Then she aimed at the leg of another guard, Sergeant Americh, and pulled the trigger. The sound of gunshots attracted the attention of the other women in the locker room, and they pounced on their executioners, engaging in a desperate fight. Although they were unarmed and surrounded by enemies with weapons, they decided to fight to the end. The German soldiers were stunned and did not expect such resistance. One of them even lost his nose when a woman bit him off during a struggle. Fragile girls beat, scratch, bit the hated Essex men knowing that this was their last fight. However, realizing their mistake, the Nazis quickly took their wounded soldiers out of the locker room locked the doors and began shooting at the rebellious women through the walls. The return fire was too fierce, and the riot was suppressed. Although the uprising was brief and unsuccessful, it left a deep mark in the hearts of those who survived and heard about this feat. It was a lesson that even before imminent death, one can preserve one's humanity, dignity, and fight evil. Francesca Mann, a brave and beautiful dancer, has become a symbol of courage and strength. Her courage and desperate struggle will remain forever in history, reminding the whole world of the strength of the human spirit and the unshakable will to live. Francesca Mann was immortalized and continued to influence people even after her death. Monuments and memorials dedicated to Francesca Mann and other victims of the Holocaust have been erected in different parts of the world. These structures serve as symbols of memory and warnings against the repetition of such horrors. In educational institutions around the world, the story of Francesca Mann is used as part of educational programs dedicated to the Holocaust. Her story helps students better understand the scale of the tragedy and realize the importance of combating intolerance and violence. Francesca Mann's story has also inspired artists, writers, and filmmakers. Her life path has become a theme for the creation of artistic works and literary works. Eighty years after the death of the brave ballerina, choreographer Nadezhda Timofeeva created the ballet reflection Memento, in which she introduces the viewer to the fate of this ballerina and pays tribute to her through her element dance. This is where my video ends. I hope you were interested in learning the story of Francesca Mann. Write in the comments on what topic to make the next video.